Now out to the parking lot where Chief Meteorologist Anthony Yanez is live this afternoon to help us understand just how extreme Anthony the heat can get and why it's never safe to leave children or pets inside a car. And Lisa, it's, it's really important to understand why we have heat or how we get heat. And so uh, the sun is right over my right shoulder right now. And so the way we get heat is through the sun, through what's called short wave radiation. So that short wave radiation comes in. We can't see it, but what happens is once it hits the surface of the earth, it bounces away as long wave radiation. The problem with vehicles is that you have short wave radiation that gets into the vehicle but as you can see, all of the windows are, are closed. Uh, nothing's broken here. Uh, the shortwave radiation gets stuck inside the car. Now coming up at six o'clock, I'm going to crack the windows and I'm even going to put uh, a heat shield here on the front and I'm going to show you it's not going to make much of a difference, but let's just give you an idea right now is the hottest part of the day. Uh, temperature outside is about 96 degrees. So I'm going to use a heat gun here and this is going to look at the surface. So I'm going to point this uh, to the grass. Now the surface of this grass is 107 degrees. We're going to go ahead and come over now to the uh, car, the vehicle there goes at 105 and you have tinted windows. It's closed and again this isn't looking at the entire temperature of the car. It's going to be the surface of the car and so I opened it quickly. We're going to take a look. You're looking at now 117 degrees. Uh, again, Geo, our photographer just parked this car. Uh, it, it had the air conditioner on. I just closed it up and in a matter of about 10 minutes, you see the difference in temperature uh, has gone up. But again, what we want to do coming up at five o'clock is we want to roll down the windows just a little bit. We want to put the shield up and I'm going to show you that that still short wave radiation is still trapped. A little bit's getting out, but not enough to keep the temperature outside any different. And you could even be in the shade and it is still absorbing that short wave radiation radiation and the car is the car's inside the, the heat inside the car is going up and becoming deadly. Important to get that information out every summer. I feel like we need to be reminded every season that it warms up this quickly. Chief yeah. Meteorologist Anthony Yanez, we appreciate that reporting out there today.